4. The Teachings of Amenemope In due time there grew up in Egypt a teacher called by many the Son of Man, and by others Amenemope. This seer exalted conscience to its highest pinnacle of arbitrament between right and wrong, taught punishment for sin, and proclaimed salvation through calling upon the solar deity. Amenemope taught that riches and fortune were the gift of God, and this concept thoroughly colored the later appearing Hebrew philosophy. This noble teacher believed that God-consciousness was the determining factor in all conduct, that every moment should be lived in the realization of the presence of and responsibility to God. The teachings of this sage were subsequently translated into Hebrew and became the sacred book of that people long before the Old Testament was reduced to writing. The chief preachment of this good man had to do with instructing his son in uprightness and honesty in governmental positions of trust, and these noble sentiments of long ago would do honor to any modern statesman. This wise man of the Nile taught that riches take themselves wings and fly away that all things earthly are evanescent. His great prayer was to be saved from fear. He exhorted all to turn away from the words of men to the acts of God. In substance, he taught, man proposes, but God disposes. His teachings, translated into Hebrew, determined the philosophy of the Old Testament book of Proverbs. Translated into Greek, they gave color to all subsequent Hellenic religious philosophy. The later Alexandrian philosopher Philo possessed a copy of the Book of Wisdom. Amenemope functioned to conserve the ethics of evolution and the morals of revelation, and his writings passed them on both to the Hebrews and to the Greeks. He was not the greatest of the religious teachers of this age, but he was the most influential in that he colored the subsequent thought of two vital links in the growth of Occidental civilization the Hebrews, among whom evolved the acme of Occidental religious faith, and the Greeks, who developed pure philosophic thought to its greatest European heights. In the book of Hebrew Proverbs, chapters 15, 17, 20, and chapter 22, verse 17, to chapter 24, verse 22, are taken almost verbatim from Amenemope's Book of Wisdom. The first psalm of the Hebrew Book of Psalms was written by Amenemope, and is the heart of the teachings of Ignatan.